In this video, we're going to show you how to use the Manager Experiments tool or MYE. MYE lets you run A-B tests on your content. These tests help you learn how to build better content that appeals to your customers and may drive more sales. MYE gives you the power to run A by B tests or AB tests, also known as split tests, on your A plus content, titles, and products images, allowing you to test an alternative version of your content to see which version performs better. You'll select an alternative version of your content when you set up an experiment. When the experiment starts, half of customers will see the existing content, while the other half will see the experimental content. You can then review how the alternate content performed against the existing content to determine which is better. To access Manager Experiments in Seller Central, navigate to the Manage Experiments in the Brands menu drop-down. The top of the page details how many active experiments you are running along with the count of total experiments you've run. The table below that provides a short summary of each experiment including its name, content type, ASIN, start date and status. You can click the link at the right of the table to review the experiment's details. To start a new experiment, click on the Create a new experiment button on your right. You'll be prompted to select whether you want to run an experiment on your product's A plus content, product title or images. Next, you will select what the product you'd like to experiment on. This is called a reference ASIN. Note that not all of your ASINs will appear in this screen. We will only show ASINs that belong to your brand and have received enough traffic in recent weeks to be eligible for experimentation. High traffic ASINs are required to increase the likelihood that you can confidently determine a winner at the end of the experiment. If you pick a product with variations, such as a product with multiple sizes and colors, Manager Experiments will allow you to include all product variants in the experiment. Once you've selected the product you would want to experiment on, you'll be prompted for the experiment details. First, enter the experiment name and hypothesis. Your hypothesis asks a question that you can expect to evaluate with your experimental content. An example hypothesis could be, changing my product title from being vague to being more descriptive will drive more sales. Next, specify the duration for your experiment. Experiments can go on from 4 to 10 weeks, but for more accuracy, Amazon recommends to run your experiment from 8 to 10 weeks. Scroll down until you see the ASINs in this experiment. On the left side, the existing content for your experimental ASIN is shown. On the right side, you'll be prompted to add the experimental version of all included ASINs. For an A plus content experience, use the drop down menu to select A plus content. For a product title experiment, enter your proposed title for experimental content into each associated box. For a product image experiment, click Upload Image and then use the file picker to select a compliant product image. Once you're happy with the experiment details, click Schedule Experiment. At this point, your experiment will be scheduled pending content validation. Note that all experimental content must adhere to the same guidelines as all other Amazon content. For this reason, it's important to return to MYE in the days after you submitted your experiment to review content validation status. If you find your content has failed validation, modify the content to be compliant with the content rules and submit your experiment again. Once your experiment starts, logged in visitors to your page are randomly assigned to a group. Each group sees a different version of content version A or B for the entire experiment. Customers that see your experimental content will see it throughout their experience, including search results, product detail pages, and checkout. Your experiment results will tell you how both versions of content performed, highlighting metrics like units sold, total sales, and conversion. Keep in mind that early results can be misleading and the accuracy of the test will improve over time. Let your experiment run for the entire duration so you can be confident in the final results. When the experiment is complete, click on Publish the winning content to replace the previous content with the experimental content permanently. Setup is quick and results are easy to understand. Experiments give you confidence that you are making the right content choices for your products. This wraps up our video. 
on manager experiments tool thank you and happy selling